I'm Nancy Gutierrez, President and CEO of the New York City Leadership Academy. I want to thank Courtney Welsh of Global Nomads Group for nominating me to share my education story. And I want to take you back to 1992 to my beautiful, predominantly Mexican home community of East San Jose, California. When I was walking into my eighth grade classroom and I got a greeting I never expected. It was one of warmth. Mr. Lovelace said, Nancy, I am so glad that you are in my class and I'm excited to be with you this year. Now, the reason that was surprising to me was because that wasn't typically the case. I had gained a reputation for being a troublemaker uh, and really what it was was a reaction to the low expectations I witnessed on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and I had lost interest in school. Now that year would change my life. Mr. Lovelace would treat me with kindness and respect. He would challenge my thinking. He would encourage me to engage in state level competitions. He would tell me that I was smart. The first time anyone had, had ever told me that I was smart and that I had a career and that I had amazing and enormous potential. Now, when I think about Mr. Lovelace, I think about, I think about the impact of one person. And what we believe here at the New York City Leadership Academy is that that one person can be exponential when you have an amazing school leader. In order to have great schools, in order to have great places where teachers like Mr. Lovelace greet every single student, you need a great leader. Here at the Leadership Academy, we don't believe that you can be an excellent leader if you don't sharpen your equity lens. If you are not willing to push upon inequitable systems that have existed for years, as our Chief Equity and Access Officer Mary Rice Booth says, you may not have created these inequities within your system, but you are responsible for dismantling them. And so we ask you to join us in that work. It's hard and complex work. I've been a principal, and this is why I love working here at the Leadership Academy, because our school leaders need support to do this work really well and to create more teachers like Mr. Lovelace, who believe in students like me, who uh, have for far too long been overlooked uh, and underestimated. I'm thrilled to nominate my colleagues and friends, Dr. Sarah Jean Johnson, Executive Director of Teaching Lab, and Dr. Liliana Polo-McKenna, uh, CEO of Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow.